Hi, are you waiting for the second part of stem or root words in medical terminology based on human body system? Don't worry, I got you covered. This is Surya Johnson, your medical coding guide. Hi, in today's video we'll see about the part 2 of stem or root words in medical terminology based on the remaining six system. We have already seen the stem or root word based on human body system and we have covered five system in my previous part one video. If you have not watched that yet, please go and watch that. I'll put the link in the description below. And in today's video, we'll cover the remaining six system. As we've already given a detailed introduction in the previous video, let's get straight into the topic. In my last video, the part one of stem or root words in medical terminology, we saw circulatory or cardiovascular system, digestive system, integumentary system, muscular system and respiratory system. In today's part 2 video about the remaining 6 human body system. They are the endocrine system, the immune and lymphatic system, the nervous system, urinary system, reproductive system and the skeletal system. The first one the skeletal system. The internal skeleton serves as a framework for the body. This framework consists of many individual bones and cartilages. There are also bands of fibrous connective tissue, the ligaments and the tendons, an intimate relationship with the parts of the skeleton. I am not going to explain all the bones of the skeletal system in detail because we are looking into the root or stem word pertaining to the skeletal system. All the bones will have the same name and will not have a different root word or will not have anything attached to it. So the most common suffix attached to the root word of a skeletal system will be AR or AL. For example, a humeral fracture, fracture of the humerus bone, your upper arm. So all the bone names will have a suffix AL or AR to it and then it will be the fracture or pain or dislocation or sprain whatever it is. So we will not look into all these names individually, we will talk about the important root or stem word to be taken care of for the skeletal system. You can see some common bone names that is displayed in the skeletal system. For example, cranium, clavicle, scapula, rib cage spine, radius, ulna, humerus, phalanges, carpals, your femur, patella, fibula, metatarsal, tibia, phalanges and tarsals. These are not the only skeletal bones, there are so many skeletal bones. We will get into the root or stem words pertaining to the skeletal system. First, arthro. Arthro means joint. Example, arthritis. It means inflammation of the joint. Second one, articulo. Articulo also means joint. Example, articular. Pertaining to the articles. That is pertaining to the joint. The next one is bursa. It means bursa. Example, bursitis. It means inflammation of the bursa. The next one is chondro. Chondro means cartilage. Example, chondromalacia. Malacia means softening, so softening of the cartilage. The next one is disco. Disco means intervertebral disc. Example, discitis. It is inflammation of the intervertebral disc. The next one is menisco. Menisco means meniscus. Example, menisectomy. It means excision of the meniscus. The next one is synovio which means synovium. Example, synovitis. It means inflammation of the synovium sometimes called as synovium. The next one is tino, tendo or tendino. It means tendon. Example, tendonitis. Inflammation of your tendon. Next we will move on to the endocrine system. The endocrine system is made up of several organs called glands. These glands located all over your body create and secrete that means it releases hormones. This endocrine system helps in the metabolism, 
that is the way you break down the food and get energy from the nutrients. The endocrine system aids in growth and development. It plays a major role in your emotions and mood. It also aids in the fertility and sexual function. It gives the sleep and then it regulates the blood pressure. The endocrine system parts are the pineal gland, pituitary gland and hypothalamus, the thyroid and parathyroid glands, the thymus, pancreas is also an endocrine system, your adrenal glands, then for the male the testicles are your endocrine system, for the female the ovary and then the placenta that is present during the pregnancy compose the endocrine system. We will see about the root or stem words pertaining to the endocrine system. The first one acro, acro means extremities, height, example acromegaly, acromegaly means your abnormal growth or abnormal enlargement of your extremities or your height. The next one adeno, adeno means gland, example adenopathy, adenopathy means a disease or disorder of the gland. The next one is adreno, adreno means adrenal glands, example adrenalitis, it means inflammation of the adrenal gland. The next one is andro, andro means male, example androgens, so it produces the male hormones. The next one is estro, estro means female, estrogens, it produces the female hormones. The next one is galacto or lacto, it means milk, example galactorrhea, galactorrhea means discharge of the milk. The next one gluco or glyco, both means sugar, example glycosuria, it means sugar in the urine. The next one is parathyroido, parathyroido means parathyroid gland, example parathyroiditis, it means inflammation of your parathyroid gland. The next one is thyro or thyroido which means thyroid gland. Example thyroiditis, it is inflammation of your thyroid. The next one we will see about the nervous system. Your nervous system controls complicated processes like movement, thought and memory. It also plays an essential role in the things your body does without thinking such as breathing, blushing and blinking etc. Your nervous system consists of brain which is divided into cerebrum, cerebellum and brain stem then the spinal cord. These make your central nervous system. Then there are peripheral nervous system throughout your body. We will see the root or stem words pertaining to the nervous system. First one cephalo, cephalo means head, cephalogram, cephalogram means the extra imaging of your head. The next one encephalo, encephalo means brain, example encephalitis, it means inflammation of your brain. The next one is esthesio, esthesio means feeling or nervous or sensation, example anesthesia, it means absence of feeling or sensation. The next one is meningo, meningo means membrane. Example meningitis, it means inflammation of your membrane. The next one is mento, freno, psycho, all these three means mind. Example mental, mental means pertaining to your mind. The next one is milo, milo means spinal cord. Example myelitis, it means inflammation of your spinal cord. The next one is neuro, it means nerve, example neuralgia, neuralgia means pain of your nerve, it is nerve pain. The next one is radiculo, radiculo means nerve root, example radiculopathy, it is a disorder of your nerve root. The next one we will see about the stem or root word pertaining to the immune and lymphatic system. The immune system is a body's defense system. It works to keep the harmful agents out of the body and attacks those that manage to enter. 
The lymphatic tissue filters and cleans the lymph of any debris, abnormal cells or pathogens. The immune and lymphatic system composes of tonsils and adenoids, your lymph nodes, lymphatic vessels, thymus, spleen, pace patches, appendix and your bone marrow. These all compose your immune and lymphatic tissue. We will see about the root or stem words pertaining to immune and lymphatic system. The first one is immuno. Immuno means immune. Example, immunodeficiency. Immunodeficiency means the inability or the insufficiency of your immune response system. The next one is lympho. Lympho means lymph. Example, lymph adenopathy. It means the disease or disorder of their lymph glands, of your lymph glands. The next one is tonsillo, it means tonsils. Example, tonsillectomy means the surgical excision or removal of your tonsils. The next we will move on to the stem or root word pertaining to the urinary system. The urinary system works as a filter removing toxins and waste from the body through the urine. Your urinary system composes of right kidney and left kidney and ureter then your bladder and urethra. The stem or root word pertaining to urinary system. The first one is cysto. Cysto means bladder or sac. Example cystitis it means inflammation of your urinary bladder. Next one is litho. Litho means stone. Example lithotomy. Lithotomy means surgical removal of the stone or calculus. The next one is nephro. Nephro means kidney. Example nephrostomy. Nephrostomy means an artificial opening from the outside of the body to your kidney. The next one is pylo. Pylo means kidney or your pelvis. Example pylogram means the x-ray imaging of your kidneys. The next one is Reno. Reno means kidney. Example, renal. It means pertaining to the kidneys. The next one is uro or urino. It means urine. Example, uremia. It means blood in the urine. The next one is uretero. Uretero means your ureter. Example, ureterocele. It is a herniation of your ureter. The next one is urethro. Urethro means your urethra, example urethritis, it is the inflammation of the urethra. Next we will move on to the stem or root word pertaining to the reproductive system. So there is female and the male reproductive system. The human reproductive system helps to reproduce and bear offsprings. The male organs composed of the seminal vesicle, prostate, vas deferens, penis and your scrotum. The female organs compose of the fallopian tube, uterus, ovaries, endometrium, fimbriae, cervix and vagina. We will move on to the stem or root words pertaining to the reproductive system. The first one baleno, baleno means gland penis, example balanitis, it means inflammation of your penis. The next one is epididymo, it means epididymis. Example, epididymitis, it is inflammation of the epididym. The next one is orco, orchio or orchido. These all mean testis or testicle. Example, orchiopexy. Orchiopexy means the surgical fixation of an undescended testicle into the scrotum. The next one is prostato, it means prostate gland. Example, prostatectomy, it means the surgical uh, removal of a partial or complete prostate. The next one is scroto, it means scrotum. Example, scrotal, it means pertaining to the scrotum. The next one is testo or testiculo, both means testis or testicle. Example, testicular, it means pertaining to the testicles or testis. The next root or stem pertaining to the female reproductive system, amnio, it means amnion, example, 
amniocentesis, puncture aspiration of the amniotic fluid. The next one is cervico, cervico means cervix, example cervicitis, it means inflammation of the cervix. The next one chorio, it means chorion, example choriocarcinoma, it is a neoplasm of the chorion. The next one is colpo, colpo means vagina, example colposcopy, it is investigation of the vagina through the scope. The next one is endometrio, which means endometrium. Example, endometriosis. It means abnormal growing of the endometrium outside the uterine lining. The next one is episio. Episio means vulva. Example, episiotomy. Episiotomy means surgical cut of the vulva. The next one is gyneco or gyno, which means women are female. Example, gynecology. Gynecology means the branch of physiology that deals with women or female. The next one is hystero. Hystero means uterus. Example, hysterectomy. It means surgical excision of the uterus. The next one, meno. Meno means menstruation. Example, menopause. Menopause means the end of the menstruation or the menstrual cycle. The next one is metro or metrio, both means uterus. Example, metroregia. Metroregia means abnormal bleeding from the uterus. The next one, ophoro. Ophoro means ovaries. Example, ophoritis. It means inflammation of the ovaries. The next one is ovo, ovio or ovilo. These all mean egg or ovum. Example, ovulation it is the process of producing x the next one pelvi or pelvo which means pelvis example pelvic pertaining to the pelvis the next one is perineo perineo means perineum example perineal pertaining to the perineal next one is salpingo salpingo means fallopian tube example salpingectomy it means surgical excision of the fallopian tubes. The next one, utero, utero means uterus, example uterine fibroid, which means the fibroid of the uterus. The next one, vagino, vagino means vagina, example vaginitis, which means inflammation of the vagina. The next one is vulvo, vulvo means vulva, example vulvitis. It means inflammation of the vulva. Now we have learned all the stem and root word in medical terminology based on the human body system. Shall we have an assessment? What is chondro in the word chondromalacia? You are right. What is glyco in the word glycosuria? Absolutely right. What is encephalo in the medical terminology encephalitis? Correct. The next one, what is litho in the word lithotomy? Absolutely right. What is colpo in the word colposcopy mean? Correct. If you find this video to be useful, please hit the like button, it will really mean a lot to me and also share with your friends. If you are not yet subscribed, please subscribe and hit the notification icon so you will not miss any of my future videos. This is Surya Johnson, your medical coding guide.